Welcome back on board, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with, of course, more vampire game. Because you can't get more and more of the vampire game. I mean, come on. Jesus. What's your story? How are we all? Are we all well? The um, Game Awards, just right around the corner. Who's excited? I know I am. Looking forward to seeing exactly how things go with Jeff Keighley on the night to see what sort of announcements and stuff he's got for us. All sorts of stuff like that, really. It's going to be great crack. And then, of course, after that, do not forget, we have our um, Christmas stream on the 22nd of this month. So make sure you guys are around for various games, uh, giveaways, you know, just the general banter and stuff like that, as you get with these things. But anyway, let's go into it, shall we? We're back with Vampire. Let me just get into it here. There we are. Let's lash up number five. All right. All right. So where we left off was is we had overheard um one of the nurses from the hospital uh with some guy. So we're basically following them right now to see what the story is. Oh shit. Damn it. Okay. Do not attack two scrolls at once. Mental note for uh for later on. Wait, did that say something about my uh oh, the XP's gone down, isn't it? Yeah, thought so. I'm alive.
Go now. Go. Dodge it. Phew. Run. Run. All right, you got this. You got this. You got this. And, uh, yeah, that's right. Come on, regain health. Well, well, you're gonna die here regardless, so. Whoa, okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you really have to get the rats involved, though. Come on, man. Ooh. Hey, oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Nah, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, feckin' level nine. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, mother. F ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Ah! Hey, Van Oh, shit. Welcome. Ah! Ow. I know me. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I know. I know. I forgot to do something. Sorry. I literally have to come in at the end of that. That's it. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Cyber with the host. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. This is going there uh, very well. Bump with the host. Thank you both. Appreciate it. Ha! Ah, how's the game going? Game's going great so far, anyway. Although I keep going up against people who are like totally are beyond my league, like this lad. Uh, 
No. Ah! No! Where? Om nom nom. Wahoo! Ah! No, I'm gonna die! Ah, no, I'm dead. Dead! I'm dead. Quite dead. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> ah. Burning. Oh, it's burning the beast. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now it's giving me the option of using fire. Do I have anything that's fire? Fire though? I don't think so. Let me see. Um. What I've bullets. Not sure if that's really a thing or whatnot, though. Hmm. All right, it's good here. It's good here. Hopefully, everyone's all right. All right, we we'll give this another go. Sort of creature is this? Reload, reload, reload. Nom 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 nom. Ah, quick. Reload or get something else. Where is it? Never seen this game before. Yeah, this is a vamp this is vampire game. Well, it's called Vampire. For the uh, we're playing it on PC, but I think it's on everything else right now. He heals that way as well. Crap. Come on, dodge it. Whew. Oh yeah, so so much fun. Just drinking the blood of everyone. Dodge it. Ah, there we go. Phew. 
Hope everybody's excited for the Christmas stream next week. And of course, the Game Awards are on this Thursday, as far as I'm aware. Bollocks. Okay, so. No, nowhere near as powerful for that guy. Remember that the blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. Yes, but no, we're not doing that. Keep, let's keep going anyway. Um, maybe we'll try and do some of the side missions to uh, level up a bit. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Get anyway. My neck is to watch. Switch. Oh, what you get to watch? Ah, oh, shit. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Good. Are Good. you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher. You're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Okay, so we don't have any hints for him really, but it's not really the best in terms of XP, so we'll let him go. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Yes. Yes, I'll, I'll be. As soon as I can see the sky again. Didn't we? Wait, what? Why did you? No, get out. There we go. I wonder what the hell happened there. All right. So, let's see, we're at the hospital. Healthy. Not bad, not bad. Sorry, sir. No admittance. 
Don't come, come any closer. Oh, he's not even in here. God damn it. All for nothing. I imagine he's underneath us. Best turn around in my you. Ah, fine. You're all so complicated, aren't you? Broke Hospital. Welcome back. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Ooh, I found your wallet. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over. I retrieved your wallet, with all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway, to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Oh yeah, I remember actually you told me that you were going to be at your boyfriend's. Oh, good. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right, but we support each other, and that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. 
and it's getting worse every day. Yeah, I had a feeling, all right. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital? That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Smuggling weapons, are you are really we? smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. She's the oldest patient here. That's work. Sorry guys, hang on. Ask me where shit is. Alright, let's trade. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Milton shotgun. Yeah, I don't really have enough for a shotgun, so. And you can do there. Is our little mystery closer to being solved, Dr. Reed? I think of nothing else, my lady. My situation is delicate, and it occupies all my thoughts. The blackmail must stop. I need assurance. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What happens if we do some sort of thing like this? What if in the end? Nobody was spared. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Doctor, please. 
You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Just the way he is, I'd imagine. Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Hmm, interesting. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke, but we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Hmm. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? All right, fair enough. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. All right, let's... um. Let's go sleep and see if we can upgrade our character a bit more. They're always saying to increase that anyway, to be honest. into shadow as well. Good. All right, so we're level eight now.
good bit of stamina and health now we do. You're supposed to be safe. Oh, what a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. Right, let's take on Mr. Beastie, shall we? Hopefully now we can, uh... day now. are going by fairly fast which is a good thing because I seem to be in work six days uh, these days uh, two more weeks to Christmas thank God uh, then I don't have to deal with it anymore uh, almost finished my Christmas shopping as well I think I've got like two presents to get Yeah, she's good. Yeah. She's good. She should be over now in the next um, 18 or 17 more days. No, the holiday season's not getting me down. Just getting me fed up because the people think about working in retail. I hear what the hell, like it's ridiculous. Ugh. Where's kind of froze? No. Can't even get on onto the task board manager or anything. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh, great. I'm gonna have to shut the whole fucking thing down now. guys, I'll be back in a second. 